Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here, and uh, I was reminded by the uh, leadership team here that uh, the state has uh, invested some significant money in job training and other aspects which have helped to make this company so successful. But first and foremost, it's the men and women who work here that make it so successful, and I salute all of you. Uh, we're here to talk about a great program of the Obama administration called the National Export Initiative, which is uh, being conducted under the leadership of Secretary Locke. And I know this, pro this program will be enormously successful in exponentially increasing the export business of American companies. And the reason I know is because we have a program in Pennsylvania that has started in my first year as governor, run by Wilfred Muskins, who's here with us today, that has been enormously successful. It's called World Trade PA. And World Trade PA in five years lifted the number of uh, the dollar amount of Commonwealth exports from $16.2 billion to $34.8 billion, more than double in less than five years. How did we do it? We did it by doing some of the same principles that are in the Obama administration's National Export Initiative. But let consider some of these facts. We work with 24 overseas trade representatives and 10 regional export network partners. We also work here in the Philadelphia area, as the mayor knows, with the World Trade Center of Greater Philadelphia. The World Trade Center is working right now with 200 clients, including 74 companies that are brand new to the World Trade PA program. And Linda Conlon, I'm told the president of World Trade PA is right here, and she, uh, uh, the World Trade Center is here. She does a great, great job. Last year, uh, 37 of the companies that were served by the uh, World Trade Center reported a $78.5 million increase in additional exports as a direct result of the assistance they received from World Trade PA and from the World Trade Center. Last year in the state as a whole, World Trade PA assisted more than 1,200 Pennsylvania companies, mostly the mid-size and smaller companies. The large corporations have the ability to do this on their own, and directly facilitated $455 million worth of exports a 25% increase over the previous year. And what's best of all, these companies are gaining new customers and new orders abroad. And we've created at least 3,300 new jobs, which is the goal of the Obama administration's initiative from World Trade PA last year alone. So it's an incredible program. And as I looked at the fact sheet that the administration sent us about National Export Initiative, I looked at three things that I think are enormously important all of which we're doing in Pennsylvania. One, expanding trade advocacy. This initiative uh, includes educating U.S. companies, especially small and medium-sized enterprises, about export opportunities, directly connecting them with new customers and partners overseas, and advocating more forcefully for their interests. That's exactly what's made, Mr. Secretary, World Trade PA such a success. Secondly, there's additional over $50 million due for the Department of Agriculture to help U.S. farmers develop uh, uh, products and, and sell them to new foreign mar markets, particularly specialty crops. And our first Secretary of Agriculture, Dennis Wolf, was a production farmer. And he sold cow, cow embryos. He produced cow embryos and sold them to France, Australia, and New Zealand as an example of how successful this can be. And lastly, the Obama administration's program involves removing trade barriers. And I am a free trader. I supported NAFTA, I supported NPR. But it is very important that as we launch this initiative, we make sure that free trade is fair trade, and that we have very few barriers to foreign companies selling their products and goods and services here, that we make sure through the WTO or whatever vehicle necessary that we remove those barriers for American companies as well. Crucially important. This is a job creator, this new initiative. The Obama administration and Secretary Locke are to be highly praised. This is going to create jobs, going to create wealth for American companies. It's a great program. And with that, it's my pleasure to introduce someone who has uh, fought for jobs all his career and has been a great job creator in his own right, a wonderful senator, our senior senator, despite his youthful age, our senior <laughs> senator, Bob Casey. 